Hello viewers, welcome to Destined to Win Tutorials. Today we're going to be treating questions on uh, JAM on the topic change of subject of the formula. Now this question is from JAM 2013 question 11. It says if S is equal to the square root of 4, T squared minus 4T plus 4, find T in terms of S. So how do we start this? First of all, we are finding t in terms of s so it's making t the subject of the formula so we have to remove this square root in removing the square root from our previous videos video on change of subject formula topic i mentioned that you do what you square both sides so we have let's write this down one more time we have s is equal to root t square minus 4t plus 4. Let's change this pen here. 4t plus 4. So squaring both sides, we have s square. This square is going to um, leave, cancel out. So we have t squared minus 4t plus 4. So here, let's bring all the values of t to this side and put s here. So we have what? t squared minus 4t plus 4 equal to s squared. So from here, we factorize. If you remember our factorization, this is another topic we'll treat later in the future. So let's just write down t here. What are the factors of uh, 4 that if we add or subtract would give us minus 4? Uh, that would be minus 2 minus 2. If you multiply minus 2 and by minus 2, you get what? Plus 4. And also if you add minus 2 plus minus 2, you get what? Minus 4. So from here, this is the same thing as saying t minus 2 all squared equal to what? S squared. So to remove this square, remember from our, from our topic, what do we do? We square root both sides. So from here, we'll be left with t minus 2 is equal to s. When you square root a square, it would give you the, the value, the, the figure. So from here, making t subject of formula, we carry minus 2 to the, to the right hand side and which will give us t is equal to what s plus 2 so this is our correct option which is option d the next question is from jam 2014 question 12 it says if gt squared minus k minus w is equal to zero make g the subject of the formula this is quite easy so it to be so fast uh, for us to solve here this is like a bonus mark but some people do still fail change of subject or formula so we have carrying all these uh, values to the right hand side we have gt square is equal to uh, w plus k so here we are left with gt square equal to w plus k and we may further mention if we have an operation binding the value the letter which we want to make as the subject of formula what do we do we divide both sides by the, the letter we want to cancel out so we divide both sides by let's just write this down but remember in jam you have to be as fast as possible for you just have like 50 question 50 seconds to solve a question divide both sides by t square but this is a tutorial video so we just have to explain for you to understand uh, k comes first in the arrangement of the letter of uh, alphabet alphabetical order divided by t square this will cancel and g is equal to k plus w over t square so this is the correct option and that is option b our next question is from jam 2011 question 12 it says make arrow the subject of the formula if t is equal to 
if t is equal to k r square plus m divided by 3. Making r means we have to take r to the left hand side by all means possible using the right operations. So from here, let's just um, cancel out 3 from here. So we multiply both sides by 3. So we have 3 multiplied by t, k r square plus m over 3 times 3. This would cancel this. So we are left with 3t equal to k r square plus m. Uh, let's take m to this side. We have what 3t minus m equal to k r square. So k r square is equal to 3t minus m. Divide both sides by k to leave r square on the left hand side alone. So this will cancel. We are left with r square equal to what 3t minus m over k. We are not done yet. This, the question said make r, not r square, the subject of formula. And remember from our previous video, to remove a square, what do we do? We square root both sides. So square rooting this, this would be r is equal to all squ square root of 3t minus m over k. Remember, we square root all quantities on the right hand side. So this is our final answer and our correct option here is option D. Thank you. See you in the next video where we treat YEC past questions. Thank you.